Braving the outdoors this week could result in a drippy, messy experience. It's one of the downsides of winter, and for some, it is worse than others. Why do our noses run in cold weather? Good question. Jeff Wagner breaks down what we know about the pesky flow. Brutal, yet beautiful. In classic fashion, you're saying this ain't so bad? This, it hasn't. I mean, it is a head game. Winter's wrath can still be welcoming. But a skier knows their nose. The Kleenex is a definite must. Isn't having as much fun. When your nose is exposed out in these elements, does it ever start to run on you? Constantly. Yeah, for sure, especially when it gets super cold and blustery out. But when the cold wind blows, the sense of nose will flow. A poetic reminder from allergist Dr. John Sweet. Why do our noses run in cold weather? The purpose of the nose is to warm and humidify the air. Uh, before it enters down into our lungs to prevent irritation. The nose can turn air that's below zero to a balmy 80 degrees instantly with 100% humidity. So the blood vessels uh, actually swell and expand that causes the sensation of a congestion or stubby nose. Then mucus production ramps up to keep the air moist, turning some noses into faucets. There's times you come out here and you can just see beards and everybody's got drippy stuff all over the, all over the place. How much mucus? could we produce in these situations? Oh yeah, e easily up to a half a liter or even more if you have a really strong response. Oh, Vasomotor rhinitis, oh. <laughs> AKA skier nose, is worse for people with allergies, asthma, eczema, and women over 50 years old. They are strongly reacting to other environmental allergens and so they have a, can have a much stronger reflex when they're exposed to dry, cold, dry air. It can definitely take away from the, the ambiance a little, but um, it's just a part of winter sports as a whole, I guess. Not just winter sports, spicy food, cigarette smoke, even strong odors like perfume can trigger our noses in the same way cold air does. There are ways, though, to lessen the symptoms. A good way to help prevent that is to try to warm the air before it enters the nose. So putting, wearing a scarf to cover the nose actually can help. I use this gator um, and just to every once in a while cover my face. As well as um, using uh, over-the-counter medications like uh, that are available now, like azelastine or antihistamine nasal spray. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. This isn't just a winter problem. In the summer, when you enter an air-conditioned room after being outside in the heat, your nose can also start to drip.